Bill Williams, we know, is potentially in the market because of the fact that Toronto Wolfpack, who are part of the Super League playing out of Canada, will not participate in this current season. So clubs uh, saw the big name and started exploring and the club most famous for nailing big name recruits has been linked this afternoon, Hoops. Yeah, there's a lunch that's taken place this afternoon, Ben, and Sonny Bill Williams, surprise, surprise. Look, I think if Sonny did return to the NRL, it was always going to Who be was at the lunch? with <laughs> the Sydney Roosters. At the lunch, Nick Politis, uh, Steve Gillis, player agent, Coda Nasser, who looks after Sonny Bill Williams's Affairs. Uh, mm. Affairs, negotiations, whatever you want to call it. I don't think he's actually an officially registered agent, but uh, Coda finds ways around that. Uh, I think Buzz Rothfield might actually Buzz, yeah, Buzz, Buzz organised the lunch, didn't hey, he? Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Yeah. Apparently Buzz organised the lunch. Really? Phil Rothfield was at the lunch. Yeah, we got arranged three weeks ago or something. You get him on, you get coincided, him on FaceTime, was, coincided with Sonny Bill Williams uh, becoming a free agent, funnily enough. But you know, I'm sure Sonny was on the agenda at some point. And it looks like it might happen. And it's, it's, I think it's great for the game. You know, obviously Sonny's not in his prime. He's not the player he was we're seeing here. But... Um, it's huge for rugby league if he comes back, and, and even if it's only for six, seven, eight weeks. I mean, it's just, it's massive. That'll be the perfect stint for him, though. Oh, like I, yeah. He's 35 now. Uh, watched a little bit of him at Toronto. Fair to say, I don't think he was the player that he left that left the game. But a shortened stint, uh, coming off playing limited minutes, mm. I think he could be devastating for the Roosters. They've got to get an exemption because Sonny Bill travels on a New Zealand passport. Mm. Fortuitously, his wife is Australian, so she's got an Aussie passport. Uh, they'll need the NRL to go to the necessary government agencies and get it cleared so that he can come straight into Australia, yeah. do 14 days quarantine, and then be fit and available to rip into and all Luke the Thompson roosters. Luke Thompson did that, didn't he? So, I mean, it's not as if it can't happen. I mean, it, it will happen, I would the think. The difference between Luke Thompson, though, was he was coming here for three and a half years, yeah. so the government saw some upside in that as far as him earning the money. Mm whereas Sonny's only coming here for a 10-week spell. He has got an Australian wife and Australian kids, though, so you would hope that would probably work in his favour. You look at his form with Toronto, and as you pointed out, it, it was nowhere near Sonny Bill at his devastating best. He's 35 now. I think Gordon Tallis said at one stage that you know, he's basically collecting a little bit of his superannuation money over with the Wolfpack. $5 million for this year, 5 mil for next year. He'll get half of that Jeez. for this year. They're still paying 55%, so he'll, he will get half of that. But I think the Roosters have got just enough money to be able to pick him up for between $100,000 and $150,000. Oh, they have about $300,000 in the yeah. cap. Have they got still? more, have they? OK, OK. But so I think they're only allowed to pay him... I some. think it might be right, they're only allowed to pay... There was a story, they're only allowed to pay him half that because all the players have got to take 50% pay cuts this for the rest of this year. So there's some talk, I think they've got yep. 300 left, they can only give him 150 i I'm not sure how accurate that is. Won't be... I wouldn't think that this would be about money for no. Sonny. This will be about a challenge. You know, he's often spoken about legacy. Ben, even though he was not about in his... setting up life after footy too, like... Correct. Getting yeah. into well, business I, I think Uncle Nick. Nick's talking about uh, potentially having him on the coaching staff for next season and years beyond. But I reckon, like, if he does come back and he does play this year, as much as he wasn't at his best with the Wolfpack, if he just tunes himself up a little bit, gets himself set just for one last lift off into the finals, he could be a real X-factor, Ben. It's going to be hard for rugby league fans to stomach that he's going to end up at a team that have won the last two premierships. Yeah? Yeah, probably. Yeah, there'll be some supporters who won't be happy about it, but, but some ben, supporters are not happy, Ben. Part of the reason they've won the past two premierships is because they're so good at the business they do. I think they've this, still got a little bit of money from yeah, but when this Cooper is the prime Cronk retired, have they? Well, who do they replace Cooper Cronk with? Like they have yeah. Cole they Flanagan. Cole Flanagan. They've brought in Josh Morris for peanuts. No, well, you know, respectfully, it was, I think, 275. Yeah. Like, they didn't spend all of Cooper's money. Well, they bumped up Siwa Torquiaho and they bumped, yeah, they up, bumped up Jared up Wairi Hargreaves. Not that the Roosters need to explain themselves, but I think mm. it's almost beholden on us to help people understand that the expertise at the Roosters with respect to list management will allow them to make this play. Because uh, most, cl most clubs mm. would be nowhere near as efficient as, at, at managing a 36-man squad as they would, right? Not only that too, Ben. The other, the other thing is Sonny, I think, would be happy to come back and play for 150 at the Roosters. Yeah. But probably not 
some of those other clubs where he would just go out and be used as a battering ram and suddenly go out and be great for us. Yes, he could realistically come back here, what, play six, seven games yeah. and add another trophy to the cabinet. And only 35 minutes a game. Yeah. That's all he'll be needed and, for. And it's the relationships he's still got with people there. I mean, he's still tied with Nick Pilatus. We saw when the Roosters went over to the World Club Challenge. I think Nick and some others went and watched him play in, yes. in Warrington or something. Yes, There's a photo of Sonny in the shed. So he's got a great relationship Buzz with was Nick. There too. Buzz was there too. Buzz should take he's a He's everywhere. Cut. Uh, and Robbo, Seriously, uh, get him on FaceTime. 6%. He's probably still at the lunch. He's probably still at the lunch. Yeah, probably one of those long lunches. Yeah. Uh, now, with the Roosters, the other interesting element is their roster's actually at full capacity at the moment, so they will have to move one player to be able to accommodate Sonny Bill in. But also, I think the injury factors as well so no Victor Radley Angus Crichton's recently out for up to six weeks with a knee injury so it makes sense that the Roosters would want to bring Sonny Bill in. 